Bill, Richie, Richie, Bill. Gypsy, hey guys. Richie, Richie, Gypsy. As you can see, Gypsy doesn't have much work on. I was, uh, I guess, a fairly low point in my career, not really knowing what was going on. So to get this opportunity is, is a dream come true. So did you do an apprenticeship here? Yeah, as a mechanic. Four years, I've been here for six years now. Ah, OK. Yeah, so I'll be a lot more hands-on. Obviously, they do things a lot differently here at GRM, which I think is good. It uh, reminds me a lot more of how hard all the guys have to work to turn the cars over between races. Does it feel heaps different? Yeah, a lot different. Really? Yeah. Straight away? Yeah, it does, yeah. The buttons and stuff would be a fair bit different, I reckon. Because you're, you're, don't you just have um, buttons down the yeah, that yeah. box thing? Yep. Yeah. You'll probably go searching for it. Yeah, I will, yeah. <laughs> Working with the whole team definitely helps when you're around them more often because any ideas you come up with during the week or whatever, you can just go and ask, you know, why didn't we do this? We should have done that sort of thing. And you can definitely improve a lot quicker and get used to each other communication-wise better. I rang the guys in Boost Australia and I said, bring the boys out here. I want them to get to know each other. So I want them to train together. I've got guys out here that are Boost guys like Chad Reed, who, you know, champions in their own fields that have done a great job. You've got Jack Miller, MotoGP guys. I said, bring them out here and let them really start to bond and feel as a team. We'll see what happens. You know, those boys obviously do this for a living, but at the end of the day, it's, we're all competitive shitheads. So <laughs> should be fun to see what happens. Come on! Come on, buddy! That's not bad. That's all right. You guys gotta get out and do more of this, mate. I'll make you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one off James. Oh, okay, perfect. We should. And then I'll take it out. It's okay. It's gonna get to it a lot and then it'll be fine. Yeah. It's gotta help in the car, right? Yeah. Yeah. And just to hang out with everyone, it's been a great week. Uh, good training, you know, good weather. That's why I come out here every year, especially to California, to come and see Pete and the boys. It's, uh, it's always a good laugh. One more real quick, one more after that. In terms of the relationship between the two of them, I think they should be friends, but the fact is this is about competition and, uh, you know, we'll support both of them as best we can. It's got to be a team effort. And that's one of the things I think Richie missed at Tickford. There's no like one and two, you got two ones. Uh, and I think that's a real critical part of the, the, of the team message. As good as it was having a lot of, uh, you know, three good experienced teammates last year, I think it's going to be quite refreshing to just be paired with another young driver. And uh, the fact that we're both unestablished, I think will be a good dynamic for us as teammates. So everything else is all right. Started to feel uh, understeer. Back to balance line. It's actually easier to go if it's not a team environment, neither one of them are going to perform. And that's the critical part that we have to create, that team environment. What are you doing now, mate? More foam. Yeah. In the back, behind your back. Oh, we're ready to go, though. Are we? Yep. Well, let's go. Well, mate. I keep thinking about all that stuff, you know, that's really yeah. good feedback to understand what you need, you know. Yeah, it's good to drive the car for the first time. It's a lot different to what I was expecting, so uh, a few things to get used to. And But anyway, it was a good team dynamic and um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to, to the season.